Hi guys, in today's lecture, we'll be learning on how to design an Apple logo using Figma. So before we get started, um, I am open on and I'll be your instructor for today. So first off, uh, I'm going to import my Apple image, which I will want to design from for now. So I've imported my Apple logo. So first of all i'll start we have basically three steps here um to achieve this tax so first one is i will start with um making my lines like the different colors we have inside the apple itself so first we'll start with using a rectangle tool which is here then i'll start duplicating them then I will shift and um, I like them all then take it to one side the next thing here is on how I will add our colors to each of the boxes we've created so this we will use a tool called um, a pick tool so we pick a color and add to them respectively Okay, we are done with that one, so let's just push that and keep aside. Okay, then um, to make this apple leaf, which is on top of the apple itself, so we need a, a tool called an ellipse tool, which is um, like a circle. On your keyboard, you can just strike an O for that, and then you shift to have a perfect circle. Then to duplicate that, you use alternate and shift. And then you select both, then come here and um, intersect. Use your intersect selection, then you rotate it um, so you could have what you're looking for over here. Okay, we're done with that, so we fill it with a color. Okay, next stop now is creating a, a apple itself. So I'm going to use a circle to get that to okay. Uh -huh. So, so here we have a node. Once you double click on your circle, it will, it will bring out the shape too. So the same way we use in other softwares like your photoshop like your illustrator is the same process here so it's it's a no big deal in figma you just have to understand what you're doing and then using the right tool at the right time so let's get all the curves we need that we can process okay this a little challenge i'm having here i'm not really seeing what i'm doing so i just have to go and reduce my transparency to like let's say 40 so that I can see what, what I'm doing from beneath so okay so we go 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 okay what right here then I want to add a new node so that I can. So you have to come head over to your pen tool and pick your pen tool and um, I had one here, then I press enter. Okay, you zoom in so you see what you're doing. So I want to have this place curved, so I have to go and add another one.
so there we go we almost full so we max it out like this So we had another point here. This thing happened to so we had another point here. We'll take it here so we can have a perfect puff. Then you zoom in. So So we have to get rid of this this one so we just click on that on that note then you should delete so you delete only that alone there are different ways I can use to achieve this this place I'm doing now um which i'll i'll come back to that side so let me finish with this side nicely cut out so it's now time for us to get our boxes get these boxes into this so uh, let's get rid of the main object so we now have this two so if I have to group this into one with my control G is now group so I have to place this I have to place this inside this so all I have to do is to come here then change it to use it as a max so I come to my group then drag it inside the max so all I need to just drag it down here as you can see it's, it's not it's faint because of what we did before which is the transparency we did so we have to go through go back there and I'm um, the lift tool and clear the transparency take it back to 100 so and there we go with our logo we are done with it and i hope it was quite interesting and i hope to see you guys next time bye